the sun is back out and I'm driving over to Oak Terrace. Got loads of uh, different trades here today doing different work on there. Uh, some carpenters, doing some flooring, some subflooring. We've got plumbers there doing some gas fitting, gas safety checks. And what else we got? I'm doing a bit of the ground works, ready for the short set video next week. Looking forward to that because it's something I've never done before to be in trade up in it. They're bringing a team of guys who, um, who work on it all the time and of course know what they're doing, so I'm looking forward to, to that with them. The scaff is finally coming down this morning. Oh, in fact, we did start it yesterday and now they're back again to do a bit more today, which is great. Hey, hey, what are you doing, you thief? <laughs> Call the police, someone. Call the police. <laughs> it's Keith our carpenter cutting the locks away. <laughs> so we've got it opened. <laughs> it's been that long since I've been in there. Oh, cobwebs. I can't actually remember. That was for a tiling video we done years ago. Look. Oh, oh shit. Oh, there's it's me streaming. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm scared, I don't know what's in it. It's been that long. I'm a bit out of practice. It's MOT, um, type 1, roadstone. We've already got a lot of like crushed gravel all the way down there. So it's quite compact, it's all been... Uh, all the weeds have been taken out and some treatment's been put on them. And we're putting like another 7,500 mil of this on top and we'll whack this down and compact it down nice and compact of course and solid and create a bit of a fall coming down here. Is this old van all cover is going to be getting taken off. Got a new one there that'll be set in place, cemented around and then the stone just brought up to it. Then we really need about 30 millimetres from the top for the resin to be uh, laid onto this. Some more materials arriving now, ready for our flooring next week. Now, the old manhole cover that was on here was a very old one. It was all dinted and uh, broken away. So we've removed it. We've cut into the brickwork and sunk this new manhole cover. This is the rim of it there. That's the top bit that sinks in it. Now, the bottom of this goes right the way down to here. It's kind of designed for block work. You can put block work in there if you're doing block work on your drive and you continue it through. So it's pretty much an invisible manhole cover, which looks great on driveways and things. The back of here, we've sunk it in, cut it out, sunk it in on a little bit of stiff mortar, pointed it up, and then we've left it about 30, 40 millimeters, just shy of the finished edge. And then the new resin that we put down will go over this stone. This is gonna be compressed and packed down. Go over that stone and fish, finish just on the top rim there. And then the inside bit, this one here, we'll fill some cement in the bottom of it just to pack it out and then leave the last 30 millimetres and again put the resin in there. You won't actually see this manhole cover uh, unless you look real closely, of course. But the great thing is, is you can hide them but still have access to them, which is the most important thing. You always need to have access to drains if you've ever had an, uh, <laughs> a blockage, of course. Here's another one of the drains we'll have to do a little bit of work on. There's plastic kind of chambers that go down there and the main drains come right the way through to the end one at the bottom there. But it's only been soil packed around it in hardcore, so we've dug all that away, put concrete all around it. Then we're going to set some lintels like this, concrete lintels in place, and then put the manhole cover back on top, just leaving that 30 mil gap from the top with about 100 mil of hardcore there, tampered all the way around it. Leveled out and flattened. <laughs> 